Summer, a time to enjoy the break from education with friends and the amazing weather, depending on where you live, especially if that's in the UK. But once September rolls back around, you gotta be on your A game, straight back into it, and those days really come by quick. Hey guys, it's Daniel or Dan J, and today I'm gonna to be talking about how you can utilize your summer holidays to get ahead in your next academic year. So for me, this is kind of weird to say because like most of the people I went to school with are graduating literally two, three months from now, if they can have a graduation in person. Some of them still have online stuff, but yeah, I'm here going into my fourth year of medicine and I've got some tips, five of them for you today, just to help you get ahead and stay ahead during the summer holidays if you're going back into education in September. So point number one is take a break. So obviously going from September to July or September to uh, just end of May if you're a university student at most courses is a long amount of time to just be working and then learning stuff, then working and not really having time to just stop and chill. So what you gotta do is take a break. This week for me is grind week because it's the week before my final medical knowledge exam, which is on Tuesday, if you're watching this on the day it came out, so a week's time from then. And essentially you just need to take a break, take some time off, just, just keep it chill, just do some other stuff. I don't know, spend like five hours a day on YouTube, on Netflix or something like that. You've had some stuff on your list that you need to clear off, start clearing it now, take that break. And then number two, once that break is done and once you feel very refreshed, you can just analyze yourself for the year. So you can start by analyzing the grades you got or how you performed in the exams or tests that you did throughout the year. And then you can identify your strong points and your weak points. And then also another thing you can analyze is the way that you're revising. So during the year, changing your revision method can be costly. It can take a whole load of time, which you could just spend studying anyway, and it can seem like a bit of a hassle because if your method's working already, why change it just to get a few extra points now when you could do it at another time or just carry on with the way you're doing it. But what you can do is analyze the way that you're revising and just see if that way is actually effective for you, effective with time and actual knowledge. And yeah, speaking of effective with time, make sure that you check how much time that you're revising for. Are you revising too much? Are you revising too little? What was working for you? And what do you think is a good range for you before you end up burning out from doing way too much revision? And as part of the methods way, make sure you check the study materials that you're using. So let's say you're using a question bank online, like my favorite, past medicine, but then you're like, okay, past medicine's good, but is there something out there that could be better or match it, like past tests maybe? Just check for things like that. And then of course, sometimes we judge ourselves too harshly and other times, if we think we're really right, we can judge ourselves too easily. So make sure you ask friends, ask them what they're doing, ask them if they think what you're doing for your revision and for your study is good. And then you can kind of take on their points as well and just mold it into a nice cohesive set of things for the next year. Number three is set some goals. So it's always good to have goals so that you can work towards something. Don't just put them as the focus of your life because then you achieve a goal. You're like, oh, I'm happy for five minutes. And then you're like, what is the meaning of life? But yeah, set some goals. If there's a certain grade you want to get, set that as your benchmark and then start working towards that. Because when you have something that you're working towards, you know what the end goal is. So you can put in place some systems which mean that you'll get to that end goal and which mean you'll keep constantly improving and constantly just getting better. Sometimes without goals, we can just stagnate in the place that we're at because we're like, okay, this is good enough and it's fine here, but you don't wanna be average, you wanna to be top tier. And that brings me on to point four, which is make a plan. So goals kind of come into the plan, but you could easily set a goal without a plan. Many people do it especially with things like New Year's resolutions, like, oh, I wanna um, exercise five times a week. It's easy to think of saying, oh, I wanna exercise five times a week as a plan, but it's not really. If you don't do it already, why are you not doing it already? There's clearly something that was stopping you. So you need to make a plan of how to do that. In the same way, you need to plan out how you're gonna achieve your goals in certain steps. What steps can you take day by day to get there? 
So the number one thing you should start with is making a plan on how to address your weaknesses. So at my medical school, because they use basically the same questions every year in our exams, they don't let us know like the topics we got wrong and right during the year. We only find out at the end of the year. So you can go through things like that, just see where your weak areas are and just go, okay, this is where I need to focus my attention during the summer so that I can bring it up and everything can be level during the year and then I can just revise equally. And then plan your time because this is summer holidays. So you aren't trying to just be like, oh, revision this, revision that. I woke up and revised for eight hours and then I slept for 16. Then I woke up and revised for eight hours. No, you want to set out a good amount of time where you can just revise, make it flexible so that if your friend calls you up like today and goes, oh, do you want to hang out tomorrow? You'll be like, cool. And you won't be like, oh no, I'm not getting my revision session in. Just be flexible with it. It is summer after all. And then also as part of making a plan, just try some new methods. You might think that your study method right now is the greatest thing of all time, but you probably haven't tried every single study method out there. If you have, fair enough, skip this bit. If you haven't, just try something new. I don't know, watch a YouTube video on some good study methods, try something new and see if it works for you because that could be the thing that just like clicks and you're excelling. You're just, you're smashing your goals, that's it. And then in trying something new as well, try learning something new. Just something random like that isn't part of your subject at all. I don't know, learn to code in the summer because you can learn some things studying something random that you can end up applying to your main subject. And then finally, number five, enjoy yourself. It is summer after all and the number one thing to do is enjoy yourself because like my friends graduating right now or I don't know, people who went into work from secondary school, like went to apprenticeships or whatever, they don't have six weeks or as you go into university, like three months of summer holiday. So they don't have that enjoyment time. They have like four weeks of holiday throughout the entire year. So make sure you enjoy the days whilst you can because they will finish quickly. They, before you know, it's gone and you're into the workplace and then you're you're just working 40 hours a week or whatever depending on how you want to live your life but make sure you enjoy the days that you have free whilst you have them so thank you for watching this video if you did enjoy it please leave a thumbs up and if you're new around here hit that subscribe button 50 percent of people who watch these videos aren't subscribed and yeah tell a friend tell a friend let me know down in the comment section if there's anything you're going to try during the summer that you're going to do differently and i will talk to you in the next video